Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Please kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In this video, I'm just going to explain on what a dizygotic twins are. Remember that we have two main types of twins. We have monozygotic and dizygotic twins. In this video, I'm just going to focus on dizygotic twins. So the following are the characteristics of dizygotic twins. Number one, a dizygotic twins, these are formed from two ovals, that means from two oocyte and two sperms. And these twins, can either have the same sex or opposite sex. For example, those two twins have the same sex, whereas the ones down have different sex. Dizygotic twins can, e can just exist or look like brothers and sisters. That simply means dizygotic twins are normally non-identical twins. Then the zygotic twins can either be double or fused. This will be explained later on. Take note that the zygotic twins have different genetic features. This simply means that their DNA microbial is also different. The next thing we need to understand that, like I have stated, the zygotic twins these are twins that are a result of the fusion of two oocytes and two different sperms, where one oocyte is being fertilized by one sperm and another oocyte is being, is being fertilized by a different sperm, meaning Dizygotic twins, they come from two oocytes and two different sperms. Just like it has been shown in the diagram, two different sperms fertilizing two different eggs to form dizygotic twins. If at all two oocytes have been fertilized by two different sperms, that simply means that the zygotic twins normally each individual embryo develop in a different placenta and also different amnion cavity and also a different chorionic sac meaning these twins they develop in different regions with their own things each with their own placenta, amnion, and also the chorionic sac. However, sometimes these twins may be fused. In that case, it can either be the placenta which has been fused or the chorion which has been fused. But one thing we need to understand that Unlike in monozygous twins, in dizygous twins, we mostly expect we mostly expect two placentas, two placentas, two amnion, and also two chorion sac. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel. Academy. Thank you.